we Europeans are responsible for these atrocities in Gaza. And my question to my friends, especially in Germany, who object to the use of the term genocide for what's happening in Rafa as we speak, is this. For how long are you going to permit your guilt over the Holocaust to justify, to legitimize and to weaponize the genocide of the Palestinian people? How many rivers of Palestinian blood need to flow before you feel cleansed of your guilt over the Holocaust? We have to stop sitting on the fence because that makes us complicit in a crime against humanity. The Israeli right has managed to hide behind the specter of the Holocaust. So like my mom will always tell me, right, before you go out there calling everyone wicked, before you go out there calling everyone ungrateful, before you go out there saying that everyone is jealous or they are biased or they have negative thought about you, maybe you should reflect on your own self. You should Re-examine yourself to see if the, the, the notion that people have about you is as a result of what you have been doing to them or as a result of what they have seen you do. You must always re-examine yourself before pointing fingers at others. It's very important that you, you understand that if people just kept on accusing you about something or kept on pushing you away from, the, from, from themselves or don't want to hang out with you anymore, if everyone just kept on doing that, maybe the problem is not them, but you. Maybe you are the problem. Something to think about, right? At least. Any rational person, any rational being will try to think about this. But I guess not everyone would. Maybe not everyone is rational. Maybe not everyone is as rational as you might think. So let's watch this video and then let's listen to this speaker explain the whole thing. That might give you something to ponder about with immense efficiency to co-opt social democrats, liberals, progressives, anti-fascists in a manner that their own fascism, the fascism of the Zionist right, of the Netanyahu's, of Likud, they've succeeded in effectively gaining immunity. In Germany today, you can only talk about genocide if you support it. Israeli ministers are completely free to talk about a greater Israel from the river to the sea. That's genocide of the Palestinians. But if you oppose the genocide, you cannot talk about it. And that is all done under the cloak of identifying anti-Semitism with anti-Zionism. Once upon a time, that would not have been possible. Once upon a time, Willy Brandt, the Social Democrat Chancellor in Germany, or Bruno Kreisky, the equivalent in Austria, talked very sensibly about the need, on the one hand, to support the Jews' right to live in peace and without fear of anti-Semitism in a manner that is balanced out by Palestinian rights. Today, that is simply not possible. Our leaders in the West have to understand that they cannot be liberal, they cannot be democratic, if they support the idea of an exclusively Jewish state. What would they say if I were to support and exclusively Greek Orthodox Greece. <laughs> so no one could put it better like he does. And they have done that. They have done that like a lot. They have done that like a lot. They are weaponizing the incident in Germany against anything that anyone says against them. If you just call out anything they say that you think is worth calling out, they'll be like, eh, this guy is anti-Semitic. If you call out that what you guys are doing in Gaza is wrong, they'll be like, eh, this guy is a, is a Holocaust supp supporter. Whatever you say, they have something to, 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 to get back at you. And I've never seen a people who will go, I mean, the leadership. I have never seen 
a leadership of a country that will accuse every single person that said something they do not like. When the UN Secretary General said that the incident in Israel, the October 7 incident, did not just happen in a vacuum. We saw how the Israeli representative at the United Nations came out storming and even requesting that the UN Secretary General should apologize immediately or resign. And they just kept on doing that. Anyone who called them out for anything they do yeah, is labeled as a terrible person. But I just think that all of us must, at a certain point in time, face the truth. Ask ourselves this question. What is really going on between Israel and Palestine? What can be done to resolve this problem? Because it has been ongoing for many years now, and the, no one is trying to even render a solution to the problem. Now, I believe that there can be a solution to the problem. There can be a two-state solution to this problem. And the Palestinians are losing. So if they give them a favorable deal, they will take it. But I think that Israel is not willing to do that. Because according to Israel, they might one day take over the whole thing from the river to the sea. Israel might just one day take over everything. That's what they think. And that is why they have been building illegal settlement in the West Bank. That is why they are trying to push the Gazians out of Gaza. To what end? To what end? And the, the most um, funny thing about all this is that even the European nations are just in support of Israel. That, like you see the war crimes being committed in, uh, in Gaza. You see the starving babies. You see the hungry children, the hungry parents, the hungry mothers. And then you say Israel has the right to defend itself? Really? Are we still talking about Israel defending itself? So to what end? If they have the right to defend themselves, then to what end? They defend themselves to what end? To the death of all the Palestinians? To what end? Remember, if these Palestinian territories were in Europe and uh, Israel was like Russia, the story wouldn't be like Israel has the right to defend itself. You all know that, right? The Westerners would have quickly jumped to action, would have supported uh, the Palestine, the Palestinians as much as they could, like what they are doing in Ukraine. But because this is in the Middle East and it's about brown people, not white people, and the Israel is like a friend of the West. So no one cares what is going on with the Palestinians. No one cares if the Palestinians have eaten or not. No one cares if they are being persecuted, if they are being killed. No one cares. All everyone say is that Israel has the right to defend itself. We've heard it more than a million times. To what end? So before I go, let me just leave you with this small thought of mine. Like I have said it before, and this is just my own opinion. Do not believe when someone tell you that the world is an equal place, that all human beings on this earth are equal. Don't believe that. It's all a lie. They are lying to you. Some people are more equal than others. Some people are more favored than others. And even the so-called West favor some people more than they favor the other. And that is just a fact. That is just a fact. But you guys out there, let me hear your take on what the speaker was saying in this video. What do you think about it? Is he right? Is, the, is Germany and the West really just 
overshadowed by their, by their grief of the Holocaust. Or they might have another game in play. That is why they, blank, they blindly support Israel. Just let us know what you think. Because like always, we love hearing what you have to say. Please, like our video, share it if you may, subscribe to our channel. That is going to help us a lot. And we shall ever be grateful to you. Thank you very much for doing just that. And like always, see you in the next one.